much. Thank you for attending uh, to this presentation. First of all, I would like you to give an applause to yourself for being here in, in the uh, human keynote. Thank you very much for attending. Uh, I am Javier Garcia de la Torre, country leader of Binance in Iberia. Uh, we are thrilled to be here in this uh, keynote because for us it's very important to give our outlook of what is our positioning in, in Web3. And in, th in that sense, from Binance, what we want to do now is not only empower the ecosystem, but also setting the path for the next billion users. Because right now at Binance, we have 150 million users worldwide. Uh, who of you uh, know Binance? Can you please raise your hand? OK, thank you. <laughs> so basically, us at Binance, we are a blockchain platform, uh, which is behind the biggest exchange in the world. Uh, we move most of the uh, big volume, 60% of the trading volume in the market. And in that sense, we are trusted for, as I said, 150 million customers all around the world. For us, it's very important to build the ecosystem, focus on the user, and focus on the performance. What does this mean? We put a lot of effort to develop each and every our products within the eyes of our users. Where should I put? Okay. So in that sense, that what, that's why we want to call our platform a blockchain ecosystem. Uh, because in that sense, we build a trading platform that not only allows you to exchange crypto, it also allows you to provide different uh, systems in P2P. It's also uh, have our arm in charity as well. And we build upon our Binance Academy that provides education with more than 450 articles in more than 40 languages. So basically, we are the library of most of the content that you can learn on crypto and in blockchain. Binance started in July 2017, a group of 30 people. Uh, it was able to grow in less than six months to become not only the first uh, block, uh, trading exchange in the world, but also the company that first got $1 billion in profit. So basically, those are the two main milestones of Binance, which is a platform do done by traders for traders that all of a sudden, starting in 2017, in less than six months, we achieved to be the, tra the trading exchange number one in the world. Uh, indeed, it was in Christmas 2017, and Binance has kept that position until today. You can see the growth that Binance has in, in these past six years. We have the six-year anniversary uh, this year, in, uh, and we organize different gatherings all around, all around the world. And you can see that our KGAR in growth is uh, almost 900% compound since we started in the uh, number of users. In this slide, you can see that back in April, it was 128 million users. Now we are 150 million users. Uh, at Binance. We would like to define uh, our ecosystem with a, a core that has all the different services that are in an exchange that you can start from the, obviously, the spot, the P2P that allows that uh, two individuals to buy and sell crypto. They don't even need to know each other, but they make the transaction individually. We have our institutional arm as well. And all the different elements, like earn, for instance, are something that for us is very important, as I would call it the core. There is another layer on top of the core, which are the different initiatives that has been built in Binance from the beginning. We started with a Binance charity that it was created just one year after that the company was created in 2018. We have also news, but as I mentioned, Academy, and a very strong uh, research team that on a continuous basis uh, develop the different outlook, how the market is, and some specific projects as well uh, in which we provide the, how, the outlook and how the project is doing with all the metrics so we have an, all the informed decision for our users. On top of that, we also consider that it's very important uh, as, as, a, as a chain, as a platform, provide the opportunity for new projects that have traction 
to be offered to uh, new users and new audiences. That's why uh, Launchpad and Launchpool is, are probably the two products that are our core at Binance. All these products that have been built has in mind that we are user-centric, which means that in order to empower Web3 solutions, what we do is that the technology has to be at the service of the users, which means that we provide security, transparency, reliability, and also education. The market right now and all the uh, e ecosystem, we are in a not only na nascent and fast growing industry, but also all the big players in the finance ecosystem are starting to enter into the market and having a growing interest in what we were doing in the blockchain. And uh, we have started from just having a bullet point about crypto a couple of years ago to now being uh, a fully project that's now in place and being rolled out in the coming months. And not only that, it's also that the regulators, and uh, indeed in Europe, we are pioneering uh, regulation in crypto uh, worldwide. Uh, we are working towards developing a regulatory framework that not only allows regulation, but also empowers the innovation, which is very important to drive that next billion users in the market. But these developments, they need to be, uh, for, ma for having massive adoption, being next to being inclusive, because Binance is for everyone, and being for everyone means that it has to foster financial inclusion and also allow making transfers uh, among different countries where there is no, no barriers. And what we like to say is that what we embrace, which is, which is financial freedom, shouldn't be an utopia, and that's why we work towards. Building also user-friendly interfaces is also very important for us because at the end of the day, it's not about the technology for the users, it's about what you do with the platform. And in that, at Binance, we are proud to uh, have a very broad variety of iconic brands in our Web3 portfolio. We not only uh, started with Cristiano Ronaldo uh, three drops already, in which Cristiano Ronaldo was able to deliver his best moments in video as NFT, we also provide utility for the holders of the token to train with Cristiano Ronaldo and have the opportunity to meet him in person because they have the token. That is utility in Web3. Uh, we also work with The Weeknd uh, in uh, sponsoring all the world tour. Uh, it just has finished in Latin. It's going to be now in, uh, in Australia. And in that sense, we have built with The Weeknd team a uh, metaverse in which the users can look for different prices and have access to new experiences and, and, and being able to see the concert in specific and, and better places. So sports, music, and also Formula One. Uh, we contribute with Alpine in our fan token uh, series in order to provide a special arena for the different users to have experiences with the Formula One. So if you're a holder of a fan token from Alpine, you have the opportunity not only to go uh, into the GP of different countries, but also going to the factory and see how all the mechanic of the F1 works. Also, you can have piloting and you have a training session in the place in which the uh, Formula One uh, races are, do the training and also football, which is, uh, we have Porto, we have Lacho, uh, Santos, and a couple of new teams that just uh, enter from, from Eastern Europe. So that's what is Web3, is bringing what we know and provide experiences so that uh, the users feel that they are next to the, to the brands and next to the, uh, to the, when, when they are fans. We also build upon security and safety. This is very important because the protection of our users is the main priority. Uh, in that sense, at Binance, we have a very simple business model, which is that we allow the users to trade in our platform and we get a fee out of that. So how we protect our uh, users in the sense that we 
hold their assets in a one-to-one, -one, sometimes even more. You can see here the proof of reserves, the ratio is 101%, which is that it's more than 100%. We never trade against our users, and we don't take on debt. Basically, those three simple principles should be the ones that guide any uh, exchange that want to protect the users. And we go beyond that, which means that we allow that every user is able to know, view the medical tree and their ID, to see where are the proof of reserves. And on top of that, we have found the SAFU fund that has established in 2018, uh, when Binance uh, was suffered uh, a hack. We learned from that. And we have built uh, a fund that contains approximately one billion. You can scan those QR codes now. That is going to lead you to the wallet, and you can see in real time the amount of uh, the, the one is from BNB, and the second is for from Bitcoin. Okay, so that is something that has revolutionized uh, the market. So, and, and that is something that we feel very proud of. The third element is the compliance part, which is that regulation should not only protect the users, but also uh, encourage innovation so that we can bring the next billion users to the platform. That regulatory framework is very important to build upon that uh, ecosystem, the different systems that they need to be done in order to be protected and also be allowed not only in a local or regional basis, also in a global basis. Uh, at Binance, we are the most regulated blockchain entity in the world. As you can see, we have at least one country regulated in all the continents of the Earth, but Antarctica. In that sense, uh, we are uh, encouraging going through the regulatory approvals. And as an example, we have in Europe, MICA, which is basically the law in micro uh, in in crypto assets the market in crypto assets that is going to harmonize all uh, the european uh, countries so it's going to allow to have a license that you can uh, passport in all the different places whereas now you go country by country this is not on, this is very important because uh, for the first time uh, mica has uh, detected that the digital assets per se, are a new kind of assets, rather than adapting the existing framework of financial system and put it in, in the, uh, and fit crypto assets into the existing financial. So this is something that for us has been very um, important in order to adapt, uh, to be ready for Mika when it's coming. Right now, uh, in Europe, is probably the, the head of the Spark and driving innovation uh, all around the world with this pushing of Mika. Mika has been approved in June, but it's true that now uh, in the level two of the developers of Mika, it's very important that uh, Europe also is still pushing to be uh, the, the first and most strong uh, law in crypto assets. And I want to continue with uh, education and charity, because basically at the end of the day, it's not only about having users, what we want is that each and every user that we have in the platform, they made informed decisions and they know what they do and they know about the different assets that they trade and they hold. In that sense, education is also awareness. Uh, we need to not only provide the different education that the users need in order to be able to know what they do, they also need to be, feel confident uh, and secure to use a platform that has their assets uh, secure. That's why Binance created, in 2018, Binance Academy it is the biggest repository of free uh, crypto information in, in the world. More than 100 uh, articles in more than 30 languages and more than uh, 40 million users has been already uh, been part of the different initiatives that we have done in Binance Academy since the inception five years ago. We also uh, incorporate new technologies and indeed in April this year, uh, at Binance, we developed uh, Binance Sensei, uh, which is an AI assistant. It's uh, based on the, on the engine of ChatGPT. So you can ask anything to Binance Sensei about crypto, and it's going to deliver you uh, an answer based on all the different articles that we have uh, 
developed for Binance in all the languages. So you can uh, talk with Binance Sensei in any language, uh, and the uh, Binance Sensei is going to, to answer you. So this is a tool that is uh, being very used by, by our users and, and has a very good feedback. But we don't stop that. It's not only the online part, it's also the in real life part. So that's why Binance Academy has rolled out all around the world in more than 70 different universities, uh, from Harvard in the US, here in, in Europe, and more than 30 universities. And we are uh, uh, very proud to continue this uh, endeavor with the different universities to develop more and more content adapted to every different university. Because at the end of the day, it's not the same content that you provide to a law school that you provide to uh, a polytechnical or computer science. So they are different types of contents. And from Binance, we adapt that content to go from the very first, what is blockchain, what is money, and what is Bitcoin, to the most advanced, how that works, and bringing projects to showcase how they work, or even programming solidity. So in that sense, we are open to create content, adapt to each and every university. And this is something that has been very differentiated for us to be next to, to, the, to the users. And last but not least, uh, Binance Charity uh, was uh, created in 2018 and is not only providing a clear view in how the funds are used, which is something that, uh, thanks to blockchain, we can be transparent in that sense. Uh, we have uh, allocated more than $30 million in donations. More than 2 million people have been benefited from this micropayments depending on the different usage and in 85 countries all around the world. As an example, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Binance was able to donate 3 million euros to uh, Morocco in the moment of the earthquake and that help was provided only to the areas that were next to the earthquake which is something that we can do to the technology because we know where the users are and, and, and they are able to get funds in moments that they don't have electricity, they don't have water, they don't have banks, but they have the phone, they have Binance, and with airdropping these three million, uh, providing uh, around $100 uh, per, per user, it was something very useful and we are there. So we are not only in, in the Herquith of Morocco, also in the Herquith on on in Turkey some months ago, and in the funds in Italy. So what we want to be uh, is in the moment, which is the technology of blockchain that allows you to provide funds in the moment when the users really need it. As an example, uh, being from 2018, there are plenty uh, different initiatives that Binance has been pushing for children, uh, for COVID. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's very important that every initiative is transparent because you can track where the funds go from end to end. And this is thanks to blockchain technology. So just to wrap up, uh, Web3 empowerment, the next billion users uh, in crypto are going to come from collaboration, governments, business, users. We need to be everyone uh, together because this is not a solo journey. This is an endeavor in which everyone needs to be united, otherwise the massive adoption is not going to come. So for us, it's very important that we still support the financial inclusion, which, financial inclusion, which is the freedom of money, having a platform that can grow sustainably, because as you can imagine, the challenges that you have when you have 150 million users are not the challenges that you have 1 billion users. Okay? So in that sense, that is uh, what we really look forward. Uh, we are very happy to be here. Thank you for your assistance. And I'm around if you want to have any questions. Thank you very much.